So here are the LEDs all wired up into three separate strings all interleaved. Um, now while I was doing this an interesting thought occurred to me and that is that if I'm going to drive three watt LEDs at one watt will they look dim? And what I mean by that is if say I took a three watt bulb and I drove it at just one watt it would look dim, it would be very yellow, it would be slow to come on and uh, go off. And I was just thinking, would LEDs work in the same way? Would 3 watt LEDs driven at 1 watt look dim? And I mean, I'm pretty sure they won't. In fact, I'm pretty certain that these 3 watt LEDs driven at 1 watt will look exactly the same as 1 watt LEDs driven at 1 watt. But I can't quite work out in my mind why that is. Something to do with forward voltage, perhaps? I mean, if you've got any thoughts, by all means, put them in the comments. Now, of course, if that's right, well, then there's never any need to buy 1 watt LEDs. If the 3 watt LED is a better deal, um, then just buy 3 watt LEDs and drive them at whatever wattage you fancy. So, with the LEDs all ready to go, I now need to think about LED drivers. And as I say, I'm going to drive these LEDs at 1 watt. And so I've got three different types of 1 watt LED driver. I've got um, this one here based on the PT4115. And I blew one of these up recently trying to drive a string of 10 blue LEDs. So it's quite possible that this one will blow up trying to drive a string of 10 white LEDs. Uh, I've also got this. Uh, one watt LED driver which has a little separate plug-in module. This is based on the MBI 6551 is it or 6651? One of those. And this is the uh, very tiny uh, MSOP, the miniature small outline package. So it'll be interesting to see whether this can handle um, the full voltage and current. Uh, actually, I've just noticed that this doesn't have any mounting holes. That's a nuisance, so I'm going to have to drill some holes in that. And then the third driver I'm going to use is this one. Now, this is a bit unusual. This is a SEPIC driver, and this is a buck boost topology. So it can either act as a buck converter, like these two here. They're both buck converters, which means they're step down. Um, or this can also boost. So whereas I'm going to have to use the boost converter, the step-up converter, to get about 35 or somewhere between 30 and 35 volts to feed into these two drivers. This one here can take its um, source straight off the 12 volt input that I'm going to use. Now this one is based on the XL6006 lead driver chip and I'm going to do a video on this driver all on its own because I want to go into some detail investigating the the chip that's on this board. But for the moment, it'll be fine. It's a, a one watt driver. All three of these have an enable input. Um, curiously, the new one watt driver seems to have it on the LED connector side, which is a bit odd. But these two older drivers, it's on the input side. So they can all be driven from a controller of some sort. And of course, the controller I'm going to use for this project will be the Arduino. Right, so the first of the drivers is mounted on the board. And it's the SEPIC uh, converter, which does its own step up, does its own boost. So I don't need the big boost converter. So just to make the wiring clear, I've just taken that off for a moment. So you can see that 12 volts um, comes in, and it's going to come from my battery uh, car booster thing. Comes in on these uh, terminals, goes into the SEPIC driver, and then I've got the uh, LED pause and LED neg wires going to my string of LEDs. The black one there goes to that end of the string. The yellow one runs all the way down to the other end to this end of the string. So let's plug that in. And we get what I was hoping to get, which is every third LED lit up um, at one watt brightness. Now, there's something very weird going on with this SEPIC converter. 
and that is that the enable pin, which is sandwiched between black and red there, doesn't actually work. Um, but what I found is that I can, and I've got to be quite careful here, short together pins one and two, and that works as the disable. So I'm going to use that technique just for the purposes of this video. Okay, I've mounted the uh, second LED driver, and this is the little 1 watt driver based on the MBI 6651. And that's going to the second row of LEDs. I've got a second yellow wire now coming down to this end. So let's plug in the power. And the LEDs have come on quite dim, and that's because the boost converter is only at uh, 25 volts. So let's start winding that up, which is voltage, that one. And the LEDs will come on brighter and brighter. And when I get to about, well, that's limited. So about 33 volts, we're at limit. So uh, if I take that up to, say, 35, and there we are. That's the second driver. So that seems to work fine. Let's just try the enable input. Now enable on this driver is between ground here and the middle pin on that side and shorting those disables that particular row of LEDs. So that driver is also fine.